Welcome to the Nagwal Zone. I'm Anam. Let's talk about how to gain personal power. Personal power is a key concept in the Toltec system. It is very different than the chasing after power that the average man does. For the average man, power is defined either as more fulfillment of the mating instinct, more acquisition of stuff via more acquisition of resources, via more acquisition of money, and more acquisition of they should all think nicely of me. Look how amazing I am. Everyone should think how amazing I am. These are the only three options the average man is able to give himself or herself. Look around, you can verify this. For successful fulfillment of the mating instinct and that success is, the definition is completely what the matrix give these people. The matrix defines what a successful mating instinct ritual looks like. Marriage and then two children because the government told you so. You, don't, you didn't think of the two children principle. It was brainwashed into you and you don't even know it. Then the job that will give me successful acquisition of money, resources, all these kind of things. To Toltec warriors, none of this is personal power. Even though Toltec warriors are easily able to have a life that has all these components, if they wish. Most don't wish. Most have other priorities. Mating instinct is, is the least of a warrior's priorities. It really is true. Surprising, isn't it? That's a clue to how much mind control, cult-like thinking about the mating instinct, the Disney mating instinct, is there in your mind. So what does a warrior's definition of personal power look like? Let's talk about it as if there are three keys to personal power according to Toltec warriors. The first one, learn. Learn. Learning. The process of learning. You have got to learn to fall in love with the process of learning. Now the problem is you are trust forcibly into child indoctrination camps called schools where what the only thing you learned was to hate learning. But now you need to unlearn that hate and relearn a love of learning. A love of I love to learn. If I'm not learning, I am decreasing. That should be your real sense in yourself. I am someone who loves to learn and this isn't something you will just say to yourself once and then magic and now it's all fantastic. It doesn't work like that. Don't be childish. You will have to really work to relearn, to love learning. I love to learn. Now the problem with the average man, even if the average man comes to this realization, you know, you get these Instagram influencers and who are talking about, yeah, you gotta love to learn, man. And then, you know, man, and this happens and they've got a huge beard and tattoos and muscles and uh, it's all fake. Like the footage is as if they're giving an interview. They're not giving an interview to anyone. It's just <laughs> fake footage. But then you really believe it because it's on screen, right? So it all must be true, surely. 
can't be there can't be anything else it's on screen it's true so you get these people they're talking about actors in interviews and oh arnold schwarzenegger giving the big speech the rah-rah speech you should all be inspired and i was doing this and stallone is doing you know giving speeches and look these people are actors for a reason okay Yes, they have accomplished many things in the realm of the average man. My concern is in the realms of Toltec warriors, which is a completely separate reality. So even if the average man gets to the point where, oh, I love to learn, very few will start to realize that there is infinite directions of learning and I can learn anything I want to. So what happens? You get people who, oh, I'm learning a new language. Why? Well, you know, I love to learn. I love to learn new things all the time. Okay, but why? How is, but why? That's what a Toltec warrior would ask that person. But why? <laughs> why are you learning a new language? I'm learning, I don't know, whatever. I'm learning chess. Why? You see what I'm getting at? For Toltec warriors, there has to be a very specific point to it, very specific context. Okay? It has to aid my Toltec training. Otherwise, I have no use for that learning. I have to be learning because it is enhancing something within me in the world of Toltec warriors. Maybe it's dreaming, maybe it's stalking, the two big pastimes of Toltec warriors, right? And they are many colored and multifaceted. Stalking far more so than dreaming. Dreaming is simple compared to stalking. For stalking, you have to really learn to be a predator. And I don't mean that in the Disney-fied Netflix way of violence. That's not, that's not a predator. That's just an insecure fool. So... Everything that I like to learn in my life, and I have learned so many things impeccably, they have all added to me in a very specific way, and they are all part of my bigger strategy in life. So what you've got to do is come up with a strategy in life, and that only a benefactor can help you with. You won't be just wake up one day, have a dream about it, and come up with the big strategy of your life. You don't even know what that, what all that is, right? That's the advantage of a benefactor. Learning, and learning the right stuff, okay? The next one is train. So first one was learn, second key to personal power is train. I recently did a video on the the R's of personal power title, something like that. What are these R's? Go and watch that video. It's a very, very important video. Relentless repetitions reveal relevant results. That is the train part, the training part of personal power. You have understood which direction to take in your learning. And now the law of R's must come into play. And you are now in training. You are training. Relentless repetitions reveal relevant results. Right? That bit is the difficult bit. Because this is where you'll give up. According to how much personal power you already possess. In other words, how much will and intent. I did another video on that, explaining that as well, 
very recently. Watch that one as well. According to how strong your will and how deadly your intent is, that's how long you will last in the training phase. Not everyone has a strong will and not everyone has a deadly intent. It's all explained in that video. Okay. That part of the training is where it separates the pros from the amateurs, the men from the boys. Right. The warriors from the wannabes. That bit. So learn train as you train your personal power is growing learn train gain now you slowly start seeing the fruits of your training coming through adding to the grand strategy of your life and you can start to really it feels great. It feels great to witness the fruits of training coming through in life. And to start feeling your level of personal power growing. Again, this is where if the average man gets this far. This is where self-importance is hiding in the shadows. Just waiting for you to do all that work. And it'll come and steal your power away from you, making you weaker than when you started. And people are such fools. No training in hunting, uh, hunting self-importance. So they think that the ego gets bigger and bigger as the gain part of the keys to personal power kicks in, right? The ego gets big. They start getting full of themselves. And a lot of me, 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 you, you can watch it. A lot of me, me, me starts creeping in. Me and you, me, you, me. And they feel so powerful. The way Don Juan explained to Carlos Castaneda about this stage is that by the time they have acquired power, it has defeated them. So this is where benefactors are so Toltec warriors. You, you can't be a Toltec warrior without benefactors. You can't. It's not possible. You can fantasize all you like and argue against that all you like. It's not possible. Okay. Just like you cannot become a special forces team person, special forces soldier in any army in the world by reading a few books and watching a few videos on YouTube, uh, go buy a toy water gun and, pss, 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 and spray passes by and think you're a special for I'm training. I'm training, man. I'm special forces, man. You, right? This is what people are doing. And I get this all the time in the comments in, on this channel, I see that universally people watch a few videos watch this video and oh i now know the keys to personal power oh yeah learn train gain that's it i'm gonna skip straight to gain learn and train we'll, we'll get to that in a bit first i want to i want to gain I, i'm i'm so I, I remember i did this and i did that i've done this in my life and that. oh yeah i've gained ah oh, i know i was right i'm oh, fantastic So much evidence I see of this all the time. Don't want to learn. Don't want to train. Yeah, but you want the gain. A clear clue of that mentality is that if, you've, if you have been made aware that this is going to take you 20 years, two decades, 20 years to become proficient in, and in six months, you're feeling disappointed. Well, I still haven't got this and I still haven't understood that. And I still have no results about this. Yeah. Six months, one year, two years, five years, 10 years. That's not what was told to you. 
20 years was clearly told to you. So what, what, what is all that going on then? Yeah, that's a clue to your own mentality. You want to skip to the gain stage and not learn, not train. Or you want to learn a little bit, train a little bit and gain a lot. Again, doesn't work. These are all childish, immaturish ways to live life. And I want you to be better. I want you to behave and think of yourself as better than that. Be impeccable in what you choose to learn. And train impeccably and gain the results. On that note, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. I will see you in the next video. Walk in freedom. Farewell.